You know, what we're really seeing is that, first of all, it's tough to forecast where the market's going to go, and it's even tougher to forecast politics. And this is really like a Twitter stock market right now. You know, tweets are now driving volatility. You see 3% swings in either direction. Um, the market just hates uncertainty, and the two big uncertainties out there, obviously, are trade and the Fed's course of action. So I think once we get some more resolution on those two things, the market should begin to reaccelerate. Okay, so you think that if there was some selling yesterday on this, we do, and by the way, we saw some. That's probably the algorithms. I mean, it's not like Mark Tepper's hitting sell and then buy 30 minutes later. You right. think ultimately that the market's going to do what it wants to do regardless of that stuff? I do. I mean, right now, you know, like I said, the main concern is, you know, we'll figure out what the Fed hopefully is going to do very soon, right? I, I do believe the Fed is going to hike rates in December. But I think they're reasonable. Um, I think Powell's last speech proved that he's reasonable and prudent. So I do think they're going to pause. And if they do pause, that's going to be great for the stock market. As far as trade deal goes, I think we're three to six months away from that. So you know, there's going to be a lot of volatility over the course of the next three to six months. Uh, once we do figure those things out, the market will move yeah. higher. We are nowhere near a recession. Do you think um, so, Mark? Because we're seeing, you know, we can see the president and Mnuchin they will make comments, positive comments about potential deals. The market used to react to those tweets yeah. and those comments. It doesn't seem to be reacting as much now. I agree. And maybe that's because as soon as the market reacts and goes up 3% after a tweet, the next day when they find out that the tweet wasn't all that accurate, it, it tanks 3%. So <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe that means the market will tank less. Um, but quite frankly, I mean, all of these tweets, they're adding just a ton of volatility. And we are not seeing any recession until 2020. I mean, the economy is still growing, not as fast. It is decelerating, but the economy is still growing. Earnings are still growing. And recessions and bear markets typically happen when earnings contract, not just decelerate. So I think what we're in right now is, you know, we're in a, a situation where the market is just, uh, it, it's giving us a ton of volatility. And I think now that we are late cycle, you yeah. really have to, you have to transition away from those index funds. And this is really now again a stock picker's market.